Why is my website slow? Part 8. Let's talk about compression. So you probably understand how compressions work. You probably use WinZip, WinRAR or a similar utility on your Windows or a Mac machine. And the idea behind compression is pretty simple. If something takes 20 megabytes on the disk, if you compress it, it might take 30% less, 40% less, 50% less or even more disk space if you just compress it. So a really smart group of people thought, hey, if we can compress things on our computer, how about we compress the actual data on a website so when we send it across, it actually loads faster on someone else's computer. That'll make our website really fast, right? And that's exactly how compression works. By compressing the data you're sending over to a visitor's browser, you're achieving two benefits. First, you're saving bandwidth because the amount of data that's been sent over is actually reduced. So less bandwidth is being used. And the second benefit is that the load time of the website is also improved because less amount of data has to come and load on the page. And that's why using compression is a win-win for everybody. Let me show you how to check if your website is already using compression. Go to your website. I'm taking WP Beginner's website as a reference. Just right click anywhere on the page. I'm using Chrome on Windows, so it might look different just click the inspect button or inspect area or inspect whatever here this will open up the network monitor or the inspector go to the network section here by the way this is too complicated let me show you a simpler way just go to this website which is giftofspeed.com hyphen or slash gzip test i'll leave a link in the description and also in the pinned comment and enter your website's name i'm using the beginner once again i'm going to click the test web page button and instantly this will give you a report that hey compression is enabled. Now there are two types of compression, gzip and broccoli and WBeginner beginner is using broccoli. Sounds like broccoli, which is pretty good as well. So compression is enabled. So you can do this test for yourself and see if compression is enabled on your website. By the way, most modern web hosts already support compression. So if you find out that your website is not supporting compression, probably you need to migrate to a better host. I'll leave a couple of links in the description and also in the pinned comment for a couple of great hosting providers that we recommend that you can use freely that support compression and also other things that improve your website's performance. And of course, the best tip to improve your website's performance is to follow me for more website building advice.